Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five baby girl names and five baby boy names that we were thinking about using for our baby that we are now expecting. Of course, we know the gender, um, it is a baby girl. But before I found out the gender of my baby, I had like made a list of names that I like. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be sharing five baby girl and five baby boy names. So list. So a total of 10 names is what I'll be sharing with you guys. I have everything written down in my notebook. This is just a notebook that I got from TJ Maxx and I literally just jot down whatever in it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. None of these names that I'm gonna be mentioning are names that we're gonna be using, but I absolutely love these names. We'll start with the baby girl's names because I am expecting a baby girl. The first name is the name Alessia. I really, really like that name a lot. But the only reason I'm not going to use it is because my husband said that it sounded a lot like Alexia. And so I don't want people to call her Alexia. So yeah, that's the only reason why I'm not going with that name. And it's really trendy right now. Like Alessia, Alessandria, Alessandra. You know, it's, it's just, it's trendy. So we're not going to be using it, but I just feel like it's such a pretty name. Moving on to the baby boy's names, the first name that I have on my list for baby boy is the name Enzo. I feel like that I feel like the name Enzo just sounds like a very handsome, tall, muscular man. Um, and I just feel like it's a really pretty baby name too, like baby Enzo, and then like it's also a nice name for I like to like think about when they're older, not just when they're a baby, and I just feel like it's a nice name. So the second name for a baby girl is the name Celine with the C, not an S. I just feel like that name is just so beautiful. It just, when I think of the name Celine, I think of like a a really pretty girl who just has her life together and smells good. I don't know, it's so random, but I just feel like the name Celine just sounds like a really pretty polished girl. So yeah, the only reason I'm not gonna go with it is because again, it's really trendy right now. So I'm not gonna go with that name. Second name for a baby boy is a name that I absolutely love and I feel like if I ever had another baby boy, I'd probably name him this and it is the name Manolo. I just feel like Manolo is just such a beautiful name and I love the name Manuel because that is my dad's middle name but it's just such a common name um, and I feel like Manolo is like a good twist to Manuel so yeah um, but we're not gonna have a boy. Moving on to baby girl name number three. Um, on my list is the name Madeline. I feel like that name is just so pretty. Um, my husband thinks of the little, remember that cartoon in the 90s, Madeline? He doesn't like the name, but I love it, Madeline. I, I feel like the name Madeline is just like such a timeless name and it's just a name that I feel like we'll be seeing a lot throughout the years, but we're not gonna use it. So my third name on my baby boy list so my third name on my baby boy list is the name Leandre. I feel like the name Leandre just sounds like a really athletic man. So that's why I like it a lot. And um, yeah, so Leandre is number three. So my fourth name on my baby girl's list is the name Mona. I feel like the name Mona is just such a beautiful name. Um, I obviously think of pretty little liars if you guys watch that show you guys remember mona um but i feel like that name is so pretty but in spanish mona means doll mona so i don't know i feel like that's a little corny um so i wouldn't name her mona just because i am mexican and i feel like a lot of my family will call her mona like a doll <laughs> i don't know it's like naming your baby doll so yeah um but it's a pretty name in english mona so my fifth baby boy name is the name oh no my fourth so my fourth baby boy name is the name Zane I love the name Zane I just feel like it's such a cute name and it's really short kind of like the name Enzo um, it's super short and I just feel like Zane is such a cute baby boy name but it's also a nice name for a older man Zane um, so yeah but we're not gonna use it obviously name on my baby girl list name is the name Giselle I really really like that name fun fact when I first found out I was pregnant of my son who is now two me and my husband had also a list of girl and boy names and Giselle 
would have been my baby girl's name if it was a girl the first time around but she wasn't it was obviously my son but we really like the name Giselle a lot but I just now two years later I don't think I would name my daughter Giselle I feel like the name Giselle is really pretty but I just can't picture myself naming my daughter Giselle but it's a really pretty name so my last baby boy name on my list is the name Luca and I feel like Luca is such a good boy and girl name um, you can spell it with two C's or one C. I feel like for a boy, I would just put one C and then for a girl, I would use two C's. Um, but I really like the name. I feel like it's such a beautiful name and it's a timeless name as well. And yeah, I just feel like that name is just really nice. It's a unisex name. So I wanted to share with you guys baby girl's middle name. The reason I am not sharing her first name is because I honestly haven't decided on what first name I wanted to use yet. Um, but there's some contenders and I'm not going to share just because I don't know which one I'm going to use. But I wanted to share baby girl's middle name because my husband actually came up with it. And it is the name Luisa. I really, really like that middle name. Um, the reason my husband really likes it is because his mom's name was Sharon Louise. Like it's so beautiful that my husband wanted to incorporate his mom's middle name into our baby girl's middle name. Just with a little twist. So that wraps up this video, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.